Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am thrilled for so many reasons right now, you guys. One, it is so sunshiny outside. I just wanna like hang outside, smell the roses, enjoy life. Um, two, I got a beauty fridge. It actually was from PR and I had it for a long time and I tried to give it away to people and then I was like, oh hey, like maybe I'll plug it in upstairs. Oh my gosh, my skincare routine was like very extra but in all the good ways, like it's a good skin moment today. And then I was like, hey, why don't I sit down and film a video? Cause for me, like when I'm having a good skin day and I'm in a sunshiny mood, I'm like, it's time to play with the makeup. Queen of way too long intros is finally ready to share with you that we're gonna be putting to the test a very expensive, emotion-proof, budge-proof, life-proof little collection from Tom Ford. You guys know I have a big crush on Tom Ford. I love everything almost, almost, almost. There are a few things that I've tried that I'm like, <laughs> like really, was that worth it? No, probably not. But most of Tom Ford's makeup is really just beautiful. The color assortment, the texture, as far as luxury, it's one of the brands that I don't feel like I'm being taken advantage of, even though it is a very high ticket line. So I like to share with you guys where I think the splurge is worth it, where I think you could just wander down to the drugstore. You guys know the scoop, but I'm super excited to get into these. We have the Emotion Proof Mascara. We also have an emotion proof eye color. Now, what I was most curious about with this one in particular is that it had a shade similar to Painterly Paint Pot, which I have been obsessed with, which I use almost every day. And I was like, if Tom Ford can take a spin on a paint pot, make it emotion proof, make my eyeshadow last for however long I need it to last, and through whatever life situation I need it to last through, then that's pretty cool. The color looks great. They have a few different shades to choose from. They're not all matte and creamy like this one, but also this is sold as a cream eyeshadow, so you could just use this on its own. So I have my foundation on, I have a little bit of cream bronzer, I have a gloss on just because my lips were driving me insane, but I'm not testing out any lip products, so that's okay. So we are gonna put to the test the Emotion Proof Concealer. This is what the bottle looks like. I'm a little bit worried that it might be a little bit too light. Online, it can be kind of tricky, and this is such a brand new product that I couldn't find arm swatches, I couldn't Google it and find what I needed to find, so I just kind of had to go with my gut and I'm hoping that it's okay. If it's not, it's fine. I will be able to tell the formula. All I'm doing tonight is having um, my friend Lisa come over and we're hanging out and she tracked down an old movie. <laughs> that we both really, really loved. I'll probably cry. I'll whip out my phone for sure and capture the moment to see if in fact all of this is emotion proof. We also have an eyeliner. So we have a few items here to test. Why don't I dive right on in with the concealer? Let's just get that out of the way and see. This is the shade buff. I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I'm wearing today, you guys, just a little bit of pure primer. And I'm also wearing the L'Oreal 24 hour foundation. I love that one on days when I just want something really nice and light. I don't want to be too heavy with the makeup, which I'm not gonna go too heavy today. That actually is a nice color. I'm not mad about that. That's not bad at all. This comes in 12 shades. It says it's full coverage. It does not go on thick. Like that's what I'm noticing right now is I'm kind of trying to apply it like shape tape and it's just not as thick. This is gorgeous. It is not going on like the Gucci concealer at all, which in my opinion was way too thin. It has the same texture though. It's not thick, but the second that I start stamping that in, you can see the difference. Stop it, Tom Ford. Oh my gosh, empty my bank account. That just set perfectly too. I'm just curious to do it kind of like up here to see if it exaggerates any dryness, you know? This is weird. The texture of it feels like it should not be giving coverage. Huh. This is actually going on like a freaking dream come true. I cannot wait to see how this wears. We're gonna be doing check-ins. Lots of chickens. So many makeup chickens are in the near future. This is so nice. I feel really fresh, but covered. The comfortable and drama-free formula is extremely long wearing and helps cover tattoos while maintaining a naturally radiant fit. Wait, why are we covering our tattoos? Whose tattoos? What 
It literally says that. Waterproof, transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. This formula is designed to stay put. That's what I need from my makeup. I need it to stay put and do its job. So that's why I was so attracted to this line. I love the name of it too. I'm like emotion proof, yes please. Because I know that I specifically personally, maybe I'm the only one, I know I'm not. There's, you know, a week every month, which really if you do the math is kind of unfair that it's like a lot of weeks per year. I cry easy. My eyes water. It's it's life. Life's hard. We need some emotion proof makeup. This is really cool. Moving right along. I'm going to set this with a little bit of CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. I know Tom Ford is probably like, ew, no, don't. Um, but this is like my favorite for under the eye right now. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of the Huda powder, but I almost feel like this doesn't need it. The Emotion Proof Eyeshadow is $46. I know, that's a lot more than a paint pot. This does say that it is crease proof, that it is long wearing, it is waterproof activity proof, like it's life proof makeup. I'm gonna take my sponge, use it kind of how I normally would a paint pot, and we'll just kind of go from there. And I just wanna take a little something on the lid today. I'm gonna take uh, Statuesque. This is new from Pat McGrath. I already know I love the Pat McGrath formula. So I'm gonna just go in and round out the crease. We will take an ELO 071. I'm so angry that my Scott Barnes brushes I left in Seattle. First I'm gonna go back and forth, then I'm gonna go ahead and use circular motions. Everything's blending perfectly. This is really, really nice. You know, I have in the past really enjoyed Tom Ford eyeshadow primers. This is different. It's much more opaque, which I really love when you have that opacity to layer shadows on top of. And there are a few different brands that do this. You can even use concealer, but this is really nice. I do love that. I'm hopeful that it's gonna look good for a very long time. I kind of want to go on top of it just with my fingertip into something a little more metallic. I'm gonna take this shade Sextrovert and just tap this on. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the eyeliner. It is the Emotion Proof Liner and I have the shade number seven. This comes in 12 shades. I really wanted to go for something a little more fun because I have a lot of black and brown. So I did get this beautiful green and something with Tom Ford is usually like, oh yeah, look at that. The shades are not overwhelming. They're still flattering and somehow neutral, natural, even when you're purchasing a green or a navy or a purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the waterline and we're just gonna see what happens. That's like the best place to really try a waterproof pencil because you know, your eyes tear up. We're gonna know pretty quickly with this one. Really pretty color. It's kind of firm and a little bit uncomfortable to apply, but not bad. I'm gonna finish up the face really quickly and then I wanna scooch you guys a little bit closer for the mascara. I'm not gonna do liner or lashes today, just like so we can see the lashes all day because I do wanna wear this and do, you know, check ins and like a final end of the day type of a thing. So I'm not doing my normal makeup look, but it really is just to kind of try to figure out what this makeup is capable of. All right, you guys, I am so ready for this. This is a $46 mascara. It lengthens, it volumizes, and it's drama-free. So if you need a drama-free mascara in your life, then this might be it. It will cost you a lot of dollars though. That is really expensive for a mascara. You guys know I am super cheap when it comes to mascara. So it's really hard to impress me with a higher end formula. When you start getting past like the $30 mark, I get really, really detailed with my thoughts and I'm really hard on it. So we're gonna see what this is all about. Wow. Oh my God, that wand, hello. Dang, that is a big wand. <laughs> um, okay, so this one says, 
that it is a deep carbon black lash filling powders. It's gonna wear all day long. It's just gonna do all the heavy lifting for you. You can cry, you can get mad at the world, you can get happy and cry, you can just be emotional and you're covered. It's an all day wear, lengthens and volumizes. Ow, that was my elbow. Three, two, one, let's just give this a whirl. Brick, stop that. Oh my God. Tom Ford, I cannot, like I cannot with this stuff. I don't, I should not like this. This is too much money. This is too expensive. You guys, I'm super impressed. This, what is in here? What, should I be concerned? Because I'm barely doing anything. What on the heck? It's so pretty. We're all gonna be broke. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I definitely got some on the lid. This wand is a little bit too big. The formula is really incredible though. So I could just be paying better attention and be a little more careful and that would not be a problem. All right, so the one thing with this formula, oh my gosh, I keep looking in the monitor and my lashes are so long and so full. I kind of, this is a little bit weird how well that worked. It's really hard to come up with a mascara that is actually different. So uh, good job, Tom Ford. The one thing that I would do different next time is normally I wait for any smudging to dry. Usually it hardens up and you can kind of scrape it off, flick it off. Because this is such an intense waterproof formula, I really feel like I should should have grabbed a little bit of makeup remover and maybe gone in sooner rather than later. I'm gonna try and address that, but this is a really cool formula. If you don't wanna do false lashes and you want a false lash effect, this is really cool. We're gonna see how it wears, but let me try to fix this, pull the camera back out. I am truly wowed. I will wear this and try to find out if there's any wear time issues. If anything gets crazy or weird, I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're about to watch a, it sounds weird to say like childhood favorite. It's not really a childhood. It was a it's long, like a it was 20, a long time ago. A 20 year old favorite. Oh my we God. It's really gross that that was a long time ago. When we were first roommates. Well, a lot has changed and, and a lot, and a lot hasn't, you know? So I think we'll still like this. If I cry, I'll be sure to document it. But the concealer, mascara, everything, still doing good. Guys, we were like really funny for like five minutes, but I wasn't recording sound, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll show you a clip of our mouths just going. I'm sorry I wasn't recording sound. <gasps> Don't do that to you. Wait, what would be really sad? What, the notebook? It's me when I'm on my period and James tells me that my makeup only looks kind of okay, I guess. <laughs> that was a very like Shane Dawson face. <laughs> Wait, I know. It's me when I realized that I did a whole face of makeup and I forgot to put on primer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't look like I just cried. I look like I just ran a marathon and I'm sweating from <laughs> This is good stuff though, Tom Ford. What are you doing, dude? You wanna say hi to everybody? Oh. Puka is a little champion. Aren't you? Look at his little haircut, you guys. <laughs> I die for it. It's so cute. He had surgery and we had to cut his ears, like the, the hair, cause it was getting in his water bowl and just, you know, causing him a little discomfort. And we weren't like cutting them to be cute, 
but it ended up being like the cutest little haircut ever. Aren't you such a little dolly, right? Mommy loves you. Yes. I would be so needing emotion proof makeup if anything happened to you. Yes. Oh, yum. Okay, you guys, so here's the scoop. This makeup really, really wowed me. I think the concealer is incredible. I'm gonna be using it over and over and over. The mascara is wildly like false lash giving. It gives you so much, specifically on that lower lash line. It does not smudge, budge. It is very, very waterproof. One thing that I did notice, I was, um, while watching the movie tonight, hanging out with my girlfriend, I kind of was rubbing my eyes a little bit, like touching them subconsciously, and a little bit of like the flakiness was going underneath my eye. So when I first looked in the mirror, I did have to brush away a few crumbles. So it is that kind of a thing where when it dries down, if you rub your eye at all, it's not gonna smudge or smear, but you will get those little almost fiber-like clumps. So be mindful of that. Also, this is not the kind of mascara that you put on multiple coats and then halfway throughout the day you put on more and more and more. It's kind of a once it sets, you're good, you're done. But the good news is you can go in with just a few coats and have it look so nice. The liner, I'm not really the biggest fan of. I don't think it's worth the money. I think there are others out there, even from the drugstore from L'Oreal, the Silk Kiss Me liners are great. Some Wet n Wild liners are great. Like you don't have to spend a ton of cash when it comes to colorful liners. Sometimes finding the specific color is worth it, but like the price tag on that one, I just didn't really understand. The eye primer, I'm gonna play around with some more. I did notice a little bit of creasing, which kind of shocked me. Now it's not sold as a primer, it's sold as an eyeshadow. So maybe I will try it kind of on a no makeup makeup day with nothing on top of it and let you guys know what happens later on. But I'm not as big of a fan of that one as I was initially putting it on. But the mascara and the concealer, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, right? So good. Tom Ford also has cushion products and new summer products. And I think I want to play around with a few more luxury items. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me put to the test as always. And also the Pat McGrath shadows, they were really nice. They blended great. So that is that. What a strange end to the video. Oh my God. Um, but I loved my makeup today. I thought it looked so fresh, especially underneath the eye. That almost never happens. Like up close, it didn't really look like much makeup and it wasn't creasing. So what a gorgeous concealer. All right. I love you guys so much. Please come back on Friday. I will be unboxing everything new. So many packages, giant giveaway of so much good stuff. So make sure that you come back, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.